All right, <clears throat> I'm done with my soapbox. We're going to get into it now. And hey, no hard feelings. But just know that if you're searching for the truth, I'm going to provide the truth to the best of my knowledge and what the divine reveals to me. I'm not in the business of manipulating truths, contrary to popular belief. Now, I currently don't have any legal cases against me personally, but whoever these people are, however elaborate it is, they're catching them one by one. I've already cleared my name. And these people better hope that shit don't come back to them. It's different. <clears throat> When you say we're doing this for a global economic recovery plan, but I caught on very quickly that they were raising funds and investing into this under the premise of trying to help the planet. With all of that went left when people started getting greedy and materialistic because they were too busy trying to be competitive and keeping up with other people and status that they forgot what this was really about. I'm talking to real humanitarians. You don't got to be a millionaire to be a humanitarian. What you do is you wake up every day, you show gratitude to the divine, you're grateful for the universe and the universal laws that are in action. And then you ask humbly and petition to the Holy Spirit Use me today, Lord, to do your work, to help someone else, whether that is through your spiritual gift of discernment, speech, whatever you do for, for work. I don't care if you flip burgers at McDonald's. Wherever you are at, you are there for a reason. Two, two, two. Not for your own glory so that when people peer upon your energy, they know who you come from. If they're confused and they don't really know where you come from, then you need to start looking at you, not everybody else. Intellect is important, but energy takes priority. Let's get into it. By the power of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pray that you only give me high vibrational and divine white light in assisting me in this message. We only want the truth and I petition the guides of that truth to provide guidance today for the collective. All right. We have influence. My feelings are strong, but I cannot find the words. And we have light worker. So yes, we are talking to the right group of people. Collective, take only what resonates with you. I could be talking about you. I could be talking about an energy around you or someone that you're dealing with, okay? But this message today is for my light worker collective, okay? Let's see what should be what should we be mindful of today? Three of cups, a toast of friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups and happiness. Three cheers are done. All right. So grounding, as usual, is always important. Please excuse my nails. I'm healing my nail beds before I switch it up, okay? Nature is always important. There may be cues in nature that you get today, collective, in regards to being led by spirit, okay? Because spirit is everywhere. It's not in a particular place. The divine could be with you. The divine could be everywhere at the same time. 
It is an omnipotent presence that is poured upon the planet as well as multiverses, okay? A celebration is near today, collective. Perhaps you're going to be getting some legway in a project or something regarding influence is going to be some good news here coming in for the collective. Let's hit the NASA deck now. Mm. We have the Two of Swords. The Corona Cluster. A region of star formation about 420 light years from Earth. So for some of you, this may have something to do definitely with agriculture, okay? Breaking a cycle through nature, okay? Maybe you are a Reiki practitioner or someone who is trying to break a cycle of something. You may find clues in nature or something regarding nature upon, upon doing this, okay? Whether this is for you or for someone else, that you are either working for or that you care about, okay? Two of Swords, let's get one more. Actually, we'll go ahead and clarify all the cards here. You're breaking a cycle and it's influencing others to do the same. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're accessing a region of the grid that is connected to nature today. Okay, so when we start thinking of nature, we think of green. <clears throat> Fourth chakra, represented by the color green. In Sanskrit, the original text speaks of this as anahata. Okay, it's located in the middle of the chest. Your flow of energy is anti-clockwise and connects to your astral auric body or emotional output. Okay. Transmuting energy through the means of earth because everything is connected, okay? Something to do with the circulation. You may be having back problems for some of you. If you need to transmute pain or energy that you feel is not your own, you want to work with earth. Now, I'm not talking about graveyard dirt, okay? This is a message for light workers, okay? So you want to ground you want to give and receive through the means of unconditional love to keep your heart chakra open because although there are many chakra centers, there are three that are very, very important to keep in running condition. For example, think of it as checkpoints. It's important to have your chakras aligned. However, your heart chakra Your crown and your solar plexus are key centers, okay? I believe the literature said sacral. It's either sacral or solar plexus, but the seed of creation to be one with mind, body, and soul, right? Your heart, your mind, and your gut is what they said. So, you know, apples and oranges. Your solar plexus is really like your sternum per se. So if I was to say gut, I would say sacral, okay? Your sacral, your heart, and your crown. Feelings are strong, but they cannot find the words. It's clarified by the Knight of Swords. A sample of over 300 galaxy clusters used to study dark energy. Abel, 1835, uh, deriving to 9 plus 3, which is 12, plus 5, which is 17, which is 8. You could be dealing with a life path 8, or this may be in the regards to material sector, okay? Corresponding with the base chakra, 
which speaks of connecting to earth and one's natural ability to tap into survival instincts, okay? So you notice that in this particular collective reading, we're speaking of breaking a barrier, whether this is an energetic one or this is a generational one. You are influencing a massive change collective in your bloodline, okay? All of us have both light and dark energy, but you are coming to the determination on how to balance said energies through your will to influence this healthy balance, okay? Light worker is getting clarified by the queen of wands. Pulsar located about 1600 light years from earth. PSR J0357 and 3205. Five, five, 15, six. 655 may be significant. That also derives down to, let's see, 10, 16, 7, okay? Yeah, some kind of, it's either generational, possibly energetic attacks in the means of the high vibrational collective being blocked from accessing this energy. Now, if one light worker is able to break a generational stronghold, that's very powerful. But can you imagine if the entire collective was able to do so at the very same time? The energetic ripple effect it would create on the planet in this timeline. Yes, working together. Antennae which speaks of signals, okay? There's going to be signals that are reverberated in Earth's frequency today. You need to listen for these signals, okay? I'm not making this up. If you're a light worker, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about. You're going to get confirmation in this. It's giving me the energy of like a massive meditation event or something like that. Okay? Something is going to be completed here from a group of light workers, three of cups. This is a group. A lot of people group up to do low vibrational things. But what would happen if light workers grouped up to do high vibrational things? Okay. This also speaks of fellowship, group think, group prayer. There is power in prayer. And I don't care what anyone tells you, prayer is spell work. It really just depends on how you want to, how you, how you do your thing, you know? Manifestation comes in many different forms. If you actually look at the context of universal law, it speaks of prayer being a law. Because this is a concept or avenue in which you manifest things. When a group of people are in fellowship and they are speaking these prayers, okay? It is sending out an energetic signal from the planet outwards. When you are gathered two or more, the divine is there with you in the midst. You don't got to be at church. You could be outside. You could be anywhere. You may not be expecting this. The divine is telling you to expect the unexpected today. You're going to be getting really good news about something here. Okay? Now, the cross watcher may be spiteful because whatever they tried to do, isn't going to be successful. Your vibration collective is too high. So this is something that you need to show gratitude in. 
you're protected. Now, let's see. We're going to pivot to a, a different um, message here. Yes, patience. The, the divine is telling you, collective, to exercise patience in a matter. Everything soon will come to light. Then you will see things will be all right. As you experience the corridor. Now, this is very odd because I had a vision of being here before I even purchased this deck. Okay. It was a dream that I had a week before my aunt died. Um, for those who are just visiting my channel, I have had prophetic. I have prophesied every significant death in my bloodline since I was about 11 years old. And at the time growing up, you know, like I said, I was raised non-denominational Christian. So, you know, I was shied away from believing those kinds of things or even talking about them. But I would have dreams about relatives before they pass away. And as I got older and strengthened my spiritual gifts, I get premonitions about people that aren't even related to me passing away. It wasn't too much later that I discovered this was in regards to a terminology called a psychopomp, which is someone who is kind of like a way shower for the dead. Now, I know that sounds really morbid, but when you are a light worker, when you are filled with the light, for someone to be absent from the body is to be immediately present with the divine's omnipotent presence, right? So that means that once you're absent from the body, you become your soul. Your soul is free and it's flowing. It will also recognize the light in others. Some souls don't make it or realize that they're passed away. Okay, this is the synopsis of limbo, okay? Possibly because, you know, it could be various things, the way that they die, whatever karmic debt that they're still holding on to, you know, some people die very traumatic deaths and, you know, they're caught in some kind of cycle until their soul realizes that they're not alive anymore, okay? There is a sense of purity that your energy attracts these kinds of beings, okay? To assist in them realizing something about their self, realizing that they, their contract for whatever reason is complete and they will have to exercise patience before they can reincarnate if they choose to, okay? We also have the first house, okay? Representative of Aries, which rules the head. So we're then now correlating the crown, which was the third major center. Notice how all three of those chakras are coming out in this reading. So that is significant. There's something significant about the crown, the sacral, and the heart to ground each of these chakras possibly individually using the element of earth. Perhaps you want to manifest outside. I don't know exactly. That may be something different for each of you. But the crown is represented by the original San Sanskrit text of Sahasraha, Sahasraha, okay? It's located at the top of the head. This is where your pineal gland sits and it is protected by your skull and brain. It's associated with grace, beauty, serenity, oneness with all living things and your divinity. Selfless realization is also represented by the first house. Okay, knowledge and spiritual enlightenment in regards to 
some kind of spiritual influence from the planet, okay? So this also may have something to do with remaining classy and standing your ground in a particular situation, okay? Mm. Something significant about nature today. You want to keep an eye on the Schumann resonance? I'm not really sure if CERN is going to be up and running today. I'm going to have to check that out. But you're going to be, there's going to be a spike. And when that spike happens, there's going to be a massive download poured upon the planet. Every light worker is going to receive that differently depending on what you're doing at the time. I highly encourage you to focus not only on all your chakras, but those three specifically for light workers, because those three are going to correlate to whatever this download is. This may have something to do with the gift of healing hands or some kind of gift regarding health, okay? You may also be getting revelations in regards to falsities or falsehood that is around you about people or situations. The veil is going to be lifted for some of you. Everybody has a different situation they're going through, but there's going to be very prominent downloads today and I encourage you to please take heed to this message as I will be doing also. This may also have something to do with the Akashic Record or the grid in general in regards to this type of life path. Yeah, it's not just me. There's a lot of light workers that have been manipulated to use their gifts in means that aren't I don't even want to judge it, okay? Basically, tapping into your full potential. Let's see if we can get a time. Wow, that was quick. Something about between 2 and 4 o'clock. Between 2 and 4 o'clock today. Someone may miss out on this download or opportunity if they don't take heed to this message, something significant about between two and four o'clock today, it's also coming out with the Ace of Pentacles. An opportunity. Hmm. Between two and four o'clock. Uh, it's going to be different for everybody you may want to tap in for some of you this may be prayer depending on you know what your religious correlation or beliefs are I know in the Muslim faith they have to pray various times throughout the day so you know don't go out of your way to um make it difficult for you. Some light workers are Muslim. Maybe when you go into your scheduled prayer between these times, if that's the case, you want to make sure that, you know, how, however you pray, you want to make sure that you mention that or you at least mentally think, okay? It's as simple as thinking it, okay? Something about humbly asking the divine to influence you through the light on some kind of level or protecting these energy centers or being grateful to receive whatever this 
revelation is for each and every one of you, okay? Whether you're just a nature lover like myself or you pray, you know, whether that, like I said, whether that's rit ritualistic prayer through Muslim faith or Christians or what's the other one? Buddhism, maybe just meditating, however you do it, okay? This is going to be very powerful because regardless of what avenue of the prism you are receiving this energy, it is still coming from the light. That's what people don't realize. The enemy wants you to fight with people who, who pray or worship different from you, not realizing that when your energy is in the right place, it's serving the same purpose. Have patience. This celebration is near. And whatever someone tried to do to separate you from this truth is going to be dismantled. Something about an energetic spike, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Protection. Leaving what no longer serves you behind. This may happen around 429 this afternoon. Don't ask me how I know that, but that may be specific for somebody. 429 this afternoon. Like I said, if you are atheist and you don't even believe in prayer, maybe you want to meditate. Put some kind of frequency on around that time between 2 and 4 o'clock is significant. But you want to make sure at 429, even if it's just to say, hey, it's 429. Divine, I'm just letting you know that I am positioning myself energetically to receive. Okay? Mm-hmm. Whatever that is, because your words have power. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you speak life over yourself, over others, working towards the same mission. Yes. Reciprocity. It may manifest in many different ways for everybody, but that is the message today for the collective. I know it sounds very vague, but there is a divine blessing that's being poured out for the Lightworker Collective today. And it could be in the form of animal totems, angel numbers. I mean, however your guides connect with you, you're going to be getting a sign, okay? It's going to be different from everyone. Perhaps guidance in regards to your purpose. Ninth house may be significant. Okay. Something between two and four o'clock. Yeah, this isn't just one person's energy. This is multiple people, multiple light workers. You're going to be getting some kind of download or revelation, either about corruption or an end to corruption, or it may even be in the form of an ancestor expressing their gratitude to you. For some of you, this may be re-encouragement about a selected mission that you're on. You may get a clear audience message in the form of song. Take what resonates. It's going to be different for everybody. I hope this message found you well. I love y'all. And remember, star seeds, light them up.